Heads up, we got a visitor coming, it's my chief scientist Dr. Rad, and he is by far the smartest man I have ever worked with. Hey hey, what's up guys? Dr. Rad is here to construct a new space elevator. Space elevator? That was my idea. The space elevator is a highly advanced transport that can take you up to space. Since it's held up by gravity we can resupply without ever using a rocket. Caillou you look confused and or constipated. Do you have a question? Yes. Why is he working on this? The space elevator was my idea. I've been constructing the idea for years. Yes but I had to pass it off. Don't worry Dr. Rad has been working off your research. Hey but no argument here you had so many flaws in your design. So that'll be the launch pad for the space elevator, what do you think? I'll have to do some calculations but, sounds legit. What's going on? Dr. Rad is going to do some calculations for the new space elevator. I already did the calculations. Jeez, you need to stop being enemies with Dr. Ryan and learn to work together. I think it's time you both go to the tree. Tree? What tree? Dr. Rad. Can you please take Kalu to the tree? When I was a kid, Mr. Mark took me to this beautiful lake up north to train. The place was flooded a couple years ago, so I found this spot instead. You hear that? I want you to close your eyes and just listen. What do you hear? Um, nothing. Exactly. No phone calls, no internet, no family arguments, just you and mother nature. This is what concentration is all about. Come on, let me show you something else. Wow, I feel like I'm Jackie Chan. I've got to admit, you're more of a natural than I was, but don't get too cocky there's always another lesson to be learned. But training isn't over yet, you may know the moves but none of that matters unless you have balance. Balance? Yep, balance in your body, and balance in your life. You gotta search inside for the good stuff you know. Because then you can find some balance in your life. It's not easy but, you'll do it. But now you are about to hate me. Let's start some sparring. Why can't we do something advanced? I'm already maxed out at fighting. Okay, let us see how much you really know. What the heck? So, Mr. Mark did not teach you everything. Are you sure that was his style? That didn't seem like his style to me. His style takes on many forms, our ancestors had to fight invaders, the only way to survive, was to kill. Mr. Mark never told me about any of this. Maybe he thought you were not ready, or not able. Maybe Mr. Mark was just trying to protect me, we're not living hundreds of years ago, there's no reason anymore to kill. Sometimes you have no choice, but to kill. What did you do? Now, it's time to finish you off once and for all. Dr. Ad, no. Ha 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 ha, you were totally scared. I'm glad you're having fun at my expense. You should have seen your face. What technique was that? My limbs were not able to move. Secret Mr. Mark pressure points. If an enemy insists on war, then you take away their ability to wage it. Can you teach me? Looks like we are ready to launch. Hold it. I thought I told you guys not to start without me. Oh, Galu. Geniuses can't be bothered. I'm very impressed you guys. Because of you two we're about to make history. Now it's time to test fire these rockets. 
Don't you think I should do a scan to make sure it acts? Ba ba ba. Trust me, my work is flawless. I graduated college when I was ten. Oh yeah. Well, I went to high school for four years. Wow, you showed him. Aha! There's a design flaw in the braking system. He won't be able to stop. Are you serious? We have to tell Doctor Rad. No, wait. What if we don't? He will be humiliated in front of everyone, and Dad will reassign me to head the project. That's actually a brilliant plan, Shady. But brilliant. Thank you. Now, just one more thing. I need you to strap in the test dummy. Oh, you won't be needing that. I will be taking the elevator ride myself. No, Dad, you can't. Yes, I can. Watch me. Stop. You're gonna die. The capsule's soundproof, so I can't hear you. But I read lips. Say it again. You're gonna die. Oh, I guess I can't read lips. It looks like you're saying I'm gonna die. My dad's life is in danger. You have to abort the launch. It's not cool to sabotage my moment with straight up lies. I just noticed a flaw in your elevator. One of your genius algorithms must have been off. What? And you tell me now. Ten, nine, eight. Leo. Sorry, I was caught in the moment. Where is the abort button? Why would I make a I am going to fail button? Because you just failed. Whoa, from down here, it looks like my launch was on point. Once the elevator reaches the end of the tether, Dad will be floating in space with no way back to Earth. Guys, the elevator speed keeps increasing. I wonder if he even knows how fast he's going. Wait, is it the elevator propelled by magnets? Yes. So if we reverse the polarity, won't it send Boris back down? He's right. Try reversing the polarity. Done. Oh, I think it's over. It worked. It's coming back down. Guys, there's still no way to stop it and the elevator is coming down 10 times faster. 20 seconds to impact. What do we do? Look away. Forget it, I'll save him. Get down the elevator will crush you. Using the power batch, my arm is strong enough to stop it. At that speed, the impact will carry all the way through your body. The power patch also absorbs energy. Maybe it'll withstand the impact. That's too risky. It's coming. We don't have a choice. I did it. I'm okay. And it's heavy. Boris, how did you get out of the elevator? I ejected using the parachute I bought with me. You didn't think I trusted my life with some technology built by a couple of kids who can't get along together. Hey Kalu. What the? You're not even in there. <laughs> it's okay. If I don't look, it won't hurt as much. I looked, I looked, I looked. Caillou, you're okay. The doctor said his femur and tibia bones were broken so badly, he'd need a titanium rod put in. Then dad said that sounds expensive and wheeled me right out of the hospital. That's not what really happened. I was just worried he wouldn't be able to help fight villains anymore so I did the procedure myself. Now he has a power leg. Wait so thanks to you he now has a power leg. I'm beginning to question your parenting skills. You two are my brightest minds. What happened out there? We got so caught up in proving to each other how smart we are that we did something really stupid. I guess I need to learn to work with others. Hey dad. Are you sure this worked? My leg doesn't feel any different. Well it may take a while for the power to kick in. Well, good thing I have fast reflexes.
Looks like it worked to me.